Hi, I'm Charles Ellison, Civil 3D designer and trainer at AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com. Today, we'll be looking at survey databases in Civil 3D 2020. Survey databases are used as a shared location for survey data, and it's kept outside of your drawing. They control how data is processed into points, line work, and figures. Site data can change over the course of a project during construction. Survey databases allow us to add or remove site data as our site changes. You'll find that most of the data in Civil 3D is typically kept within the drawing. However, you'll find that we can link data between drawings later. Survey data can be a separate entity. Civil 3D handles it by keeping it outside the drawing in what they call a survey database. The survey database will collect all of the points collected in the field and convert them to points, line work, and figures in your drawing. You can find the survey database under the survey tab within the toolspace palette. Again, the survey database is the main area where our project data will be stored. This data won't be stored in the drawing, but outside in a separate directory in our project folder. Take a look at the equipment databases. It allows us to adjust the equipment settings as the points are brought in. When I right click on the sample database and say manage equipment database, you'll see settings that are available within the equipment database manager. This information includes EDM and where your prism offset is. Let's close that down for right now. Most companies usually have already made adjustments to this and may use other means to translate this. Equipment databases aren't used as often in companies using Civil 3D in the survey. The figure prefix allows us to control how the line work looks when it's drawn. For example, what layer it goes on and what style is used. When you're working with a Civil 3D object, what style will be used and what kind of figure is it? There are a few different types of figures. Horizontal figures that control line work and figures having 3D control such as a break line. All of this will be stored in the figure prefix database. Let's open up a sample one. Right click and choose Manage Figure Database. You'll see nothing here, but you'll see the columns. We'll be creating or editing the Figure Prefix Database soon, but you'll have the name of the figure, which is the point description. Let's cancel this as well. The fourth database is called the Linework Code Sets. For example, when a figure is drawn, the drawing needs to know when to start and end a line. Or perhaps we have a curved line. The drawing needs to know the beginning and ending as well as a point on the curve. All of these are controlled within the line work code set. Right click on the sample and choose properties. You'll see all of the different coding methods that can be set within the database. These databases are not drawing specific and they're located at a different location in our settings. Let's close out of this. If you notice as I float over one of these, it'll actually say where they're located, the path of that line code set by default when we create or install Autodesk Civil 3D. What if we want to set that to another location? Here are some buttons up at the top that will give us some of that control. You can choose the button on the far left called Survey User Settings. Within the Survey User Settings, you can define where all of these databases are stored, such as the Survey Database, the Equipment Database, Line Work, and figure defaults. Once you've defined, installed, or deployed this, it can be done per user. 
Companies who are actually creating deployments for the software can set this in their deployment. And so it's recommended that you would have this set to some shared location on a network so that you don't have a different line work code set from the surveyors working next to you. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.